Hey, so today on Tuesday Tip, we wanted to talk to you about a small, minor little item that everybody gets aggravated about. That's weeds. I don't know about you, but weeds seem to grow everywhere. They grow in the cracks and the concrete. I was at a place the other day and there was nothing around and there was a weed growing. It's amazing. These things can grow everywhere. And it's dry, hot Georgia weather and weeds are still growing. The grass is brown and the weeds are green. And so just wanted to talk to you a little bit about those weeds in your flower beds. A lot of people call us and they say, hey, uh, we've got weeds in our flower beds. What's our best options? And so we always look at different things. And I know that there are different options of chemicals out there. And we can talk about the pros and the cons of chemicals. And uh, we can also talk about, you know, uh, glyphosate, which has, uh, you know, been sued, a uh, uh, chemical that's been out there that they're having major issues with. Um, and so there, what are alternatives to, uh, to the issue of weeds in the flower beds? And so I want to talk to you about a couple of those issues or options there. That you could run into. So a lot of people call me and they want weed fabric in their flower beds and we put weed fabric in clients flower beds but I can kind of give you an idea of the pros and cons behind weed fabric. And the weed fabric uh, is a layer, it's a, a layer of plastic, a layer of uh, material, whatever that's in there that keeps the weeds from germinating. Okay and when we have that weed, that grass that's under it and we put that weed fabric on there then we put material on top of it, well that keeps the weeds from growing through from the bottom. And that works for a number of years. However, you're putting an organic matter on top of your weed fabric. Your weed fabric may last four, five, six years. Well that organic matter is going to decompose. So now you have material here that you don't, you got that weed fabric, and now you have material here that it only takes just a small amount of dirt for a weed to germinate. So if you get pine straw or mulch or something on top of that weed fabric and it starts to biodegrade, which is what it's naturally going to do, then you're going to get weeds on top. I've been to a couple clients' houses over the years that the weeds on top of the weed fabric were so thick, we literally pulled the weed fabric up and rolled the weeds out because they had allowed mulch and pine straw to build up on that fabric and over time we had weeds. And so in the short term, weed fabric works. In places that weed fabric works the best is when you're doing egg rock or you're doing pea gravel or something along those lines because that, doesn't, that material doesn't break down. Um, that organic, the rocks don't break down. They're already in their final state they're not going to decompose anymore. And so you don't have to worry about that. The other thing about uh, with uh, some other options for uh, your flower beds is when you have a lot of weeds in your flower beds, one of the best things that I can recommend is by adding mulch. And what I mean by mulch is you go, well, that means I gotta go buy pine straw or I gotta go buy mulch and y'all are too expensive or it's just cost a lot, whatever. Um, in that regard, as far as mulch. But what I really mean by mulch is, at my personal home, we have uh, collected leaves and made flower beds with leaves. Those leaves decompose, and as those leaves decompose, they lay together, and they create a natural barrier. Um, we have used grass clippings in the past, taken grass clippings, vacuumed them all up, piled them up, put them in a compost pile, let them go through the heat, and then put them in the flower beds, putting them super thick. One is that material, as it biodegrades and it goes into the soil, it's going to help amend your soil, so that means you're going to have better flower beds, those kind of things. The other is, is as that material decomposes, it's going to create a thickness and a barrier for the weeds to keep from germinating, which results in having fewer weeds. So that makes it easier. So when you look at we, uh, do we use a Roundup or do we use chemicals or what are some of our options? One is you have Roundup as an option or chemical treatments as an option. Um, you can use you know, Roundup, you can use uh, different kind of Diquat, different kinds of things to take out weeds that are currently there and put a pre-emergent herbicide in there to keep the weeds from coming back. Number two, you can put weed fabric down and 
Putting that weed fabric down allows you the ability to keep the weeds from germinating for a short period of time until the material on top starts to biodegrade. And then three is, is you can use some natural ways of doing that. And some of the natural ways are by using your clippings, by using mulch, by using straw, those kind of things to build up that barrier to keep those weed seeds from germinating. So when you start talking about those pesky weeds in your flower beds and you start thinking, well, how in the world do we get rid of them? How do we deal with them? These are just a few simple ways that you can take care of. And if you do these things, then yes, you may have to spray a little bit, but you don't have to spray as much. If you have a flower bed that has absolutely no mulch in it, then you're gonna have to constantly spray that Roundup, spray those pre-emergents to keep those weeds from germinating. If you have some mulch in there and it's nice and thick and you have five, six, seven weeds, you can pull those by hand or you can treat them with a little bit of weed control. So when you start thinking about those pesky weeds that are in your flower beds, let's think about some options uh, across the board that can help and I hope these helpful tips help you out in your landscape and managing those weeds.